Hey guys, I'm back. In this video, we're going to talk about the pineal gland. It's a very interesting gland. It actually has optical tissue. Um, and that's probably because there's a connection between your eyes, which is the, the retina, which is part of your brain extending into your eye. It's nerve tissue. It goes right into this little gland and it produces a hormone called melatonin. You can buy melatonin at the health food store or at the drug store to help you sleep. I don't recommend taking it because it's a hormone. And anytime you take something like that over a period of time, it will then cause the pineal gland to be dependent on this and you'll need more and more to create the same effect. Um, what does melatonin do? It actually turns into serotonin and helps you sleep. It also is involved in something called the adrenal axis, which is kind of the adrenal pathway from the hypothalamus to the pituitary down to the adrenal gland. So there's this whole uh, kind of a feedback loop that's involved in the triggering of adrenal hormones. So during illnesses, your immune system is affected by melatonin. Probably why you want to sleep when you get sick. Okay, melatonin is also involved in your mood. It's also involved in stress. When you're deficient in melatonin, you have a weakened immune system. That's why it's really dangerous not to get a good night's sleep for a period of time. It can set you up for being susceptible to all sorts of immune problems. You potentially could get insomnia, have anxiety, and have a decreased estrogen progesterone ratio. Now, as you age, melatonin decreases. If you're on medications, especially antidepressants, it can really mess with melatonin. But melatonin is triggered by darkness. There's been a study done that indicated that if you keep your light on an hour at night, let's say between 11 and 12, and you try to go to bed, your melatonin is diminished by 71%. So to improve sleep, what you want to do as you're winding down for bed is turn the lights way down, keep it dim. Um, very, very important. Also, aerobic exercise, that's low intensity, lots of oxygen, long walks, very beneficial to help your sleep. I personally find that I can do anaerobic exercise and it really helps me sleep, but you have to make sure you don't overtrain because overtraining will keep you from sleeping as well. So keep your lights dim, low EMFs. What is that? Electromagnetic frequencies. Okay. So uh, this thing right here, don't sleep with it right by your head. Don't have electrical um, equipment around your bed that can affect your quality of sleep. Stress is a big inhibitor for the pineal gland. So you definitely don't want to watch uh, certain things before you go to bed, you know, terror movies, uh, action movies, or even the news. You want to watch something, maybe a comedy, just keep your stress low. So you definitely want to limit the caffeine as well during the day, because that can also affect your output of melatonin. And melatonin peaks at 2.30 a.m. in the middle of the night, which is interesting because this is the point where cortisol is at its lowest point. So again, that stress can inactivate this hormone right here. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.